Oh, good morning, YouTube. It's Saturday, August 5th, about 7.30 in the morning. As you can see, I got mouse warming up. So we're going, today is a car show. It's the Evergreen Car Show. It's probably the second largest car show in this town for the whole summer. Um, it's probably one of the only ones I'm gonna attend this year. Uh, typically, the Corvettes don't do well, but I'm gonna take mouse today just because, otherwise I'd take the GMC. This kind of a rare color and a hard to find car, but I kind of made me a little sign. But right now we need to go to the car wash and get her washed off real quick. And get her cleaned up before we go. So see you at the car wash. Well, YouTube, we're here at the car show. Um, probably not gonna film a whole bunch here because they usually have music going in the background. <clears throat> I will try and get a, a walkthrough done, but I'm all cleaned up and set up. I know this car is not the funnest one or the prettiest around, but it's got a story to tell, so that's why we're doing it. Otherwise, I'd bring the GMC, so we'll talk to you guys after a while. What is up, you? What is up, YouTube? Welcome back. We just got back from the car show, this, so this is going to kind of be a two-part video. So, car show is all done. Corvette's back in the garage. I should have taken the GMC. But it was a weird, there was a, a 1990 Dodge Ram pickup that won best 4x4 and my friend had a 1968 GMC pickup, four wheel drive, clean, restored, and that thing won over the GMC, so hmm, I don't know. Anyways, so tomorrow's part, we're, we've got the old Yukon hooked up to the boat. It's tomorrow's fishing day, we're going to go fishing. I just hooked it up and check the lights to make sure everything worked because I have never towed with this well so we're gonna see how the Yukon does and I borrowed a hitch from work um, just because I didn't <clears throat> with those low as this sits I think I'm gonna need that movable hitch so um, but the other thing we're gonna do on this Yukon is I bought new headlights the old headlights there's a LED or an HID in this this one and then there's just a standard headlight in that so they Headlights don't even match. They, they're all messed up, so they're not working. So I ordered some Farron headlights off of eBay or Amazon. So I'll show those to you in just a minute. All right, all right. So here's what I ordered. Got some nice LEDs with fans on the back, some HB3s, and this is the bulb that come out of the low beam on the driver's side or passenger side. Nine zero zero five, not the right number. Um, these are real super simple to install in the GM pickups. You just pop that clip out, pop that clip out, lift everything out, and then the headlight comes forward. Real easy to install. So I'm going to put these on real quick, and I'll get back to you in just a minute. So here's the light that came out of the other side. It's an LED. So both, I mean, they're mismatched. So that's why I bought a match set of stuff and put them in. So one side's in. I'll get these put in and and we'll show you what they look like. Obviously, it's daylight. I can't show you what it looks like in the daylight, but you'll be able to see the color and everything. Stand by. So the lights are on. I have matching LEDs. So there we go. Well, we're back from fishing. Didn't catch anything. It was pouring rain first thing this morning. Fishing bite wasn't that great, but... Uh, had the old Yukon towing the boat today and I had to run a leveling hitch on it to make sure everything was stable. Worked great. <clears throat> um, honestly, night and day difference between towing with the Yukon and towing with the truck. The Yukon handles it a lot better, tows a lot better than that truck. The trucks, I think because of the lift and the big tires and stuff on it, it's just down on power. It doesn't feel like it has the power that the Yukon has. Um, I don't know, everything just, everything about it was so much easier with the Yukon versus that truck. So, truck just may go down the road at this point. Uh, but I had fun. It's nice to just, even if you don't catch anything, it's nice to be out on the water. Um, and the Yukon did everything I was hoping it would do. That's why we bought it was able to put stuff inside it, lock it up so they couldn't get to it. So it was awesome. It was a great time getting out and just 
doing what I wanted to do. So you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.